Musician and producer Steve Albini has played in bands like Shellac and Big Black and worked with Nirvana, Pixies, and more. Now he is a World Series of Poker champion, having won the 2018 WSOP $1,500 seven card stud event. Card Player TV caught up with him at his bracelet ceremony to learn more about his title run. For players like me, guys that don't play a, a rigorous tournament schedule, uh, there's an enormous element of luck when somebody like me wins uh, a bracelet. Like, there are many much better players who go through their whole careers and never get lucky enough to win a tournament. And there was a kind of a perfect storm this year where the 50K Poker Players Championship was the same time as the stud tournament. So all the good young players were occupied doing that. And then the seniors event was at the same time as the stud tournament. So all the older players who'd been playing stud their whole lives and have a ton of stud experience, they were busy doing that. And so that left people like me, sort of like, uh, you know, uh, people who aren't good enough to play in the 50K and were, you know, already in the stud tournament, so. Albini overcame the likes of Chris Ferguson, Frankie O'Dell, and Jeffrey Lissandro on the road to victory, defeating Lissandro heads up to secure the bracelet. Heads up, I really have to thank Matt Ashton. Uh, I talked with Matt Ashton about heads up stud strategy just before starting the heads up. I don't have a ton of heads up stud experience, so uh, and that was enormously helpful. I don't think I would have won the heads up uh, without having that conversation with him and just going through some some rules of thumb about um, playing heads up under the different anti, changing anti conditions, for example. Uh, so that was enormously helpful in the heads up. Um, when it got down to sh relatively short-handed, I've played a ton of short-handed stud, so I'm really experienced with that ex with with that format. And then um, I had some experience. I played with Chris Ferguson a lot the previous day. He's a tremendous player, um, but there are things about the way he plays that I think are adaptations to the way that I played against him yesterday. And I made a couple of non-standard plays against him, taking into account what he knew from our previous play. And uh, so, I mean, those are normal adaptations that every poker player does, but I feel like I came out on the good side of those battles. After coming out on top, Albini thanks some of his friends like poker pro Brandon Shaq Harris, Eric Rodowig, and others for helping him improve his game. We asked him how he came to know these pros. Well, I'm, a, I'm a, a significantly older than all of those players that I mentioned. Um, I've been playing poker my whole life, uh, but I sort of Take, started taking poker more seriously during the poker boom when the online resources, online play and online resources started to become available. I got involved in the 2 plus 2 um, poker forums and through those poker forums I met people like Eric Rodwig and Brandon and CG and all the other you know accomplished mixed game players who were part of that community and I, I do really owe a lot of my development as a player to having a, such a brilliant peer group, such a brilliant group of friends who are willing to share their knowledge and experience with me. I, there's no way I could have uh, competed at this level, much less won a bracelet, without the help of those people. And it, in particular, before I came out for the, this trip, um, there was a chance I wasn't going to make the trip this year. And uh, Brandon gave me a big vote of confidence and took a piece of me, and, uh, and that really changed my frame of mind. And, and uh, I, I probably might not have, I might not have made the trip without that. And I cert but I certainly wouldn't have felt as good about playing without that. So, I mean, I, I, I admire Brandon to the world, and, uh, but I, I particularly thank him for his vote of confidence in this, this year. Congratulations to Steve Albini, champion of the $1,500 seven-card stud event at the 2018 World Series of Poker.